was up at 5.30 on the morning of the hard one mammogram. And after 90 minutes on the subway, found myself in the waiting room of the Breast Health Center, where opera music was being pumped through the sound system. 8 a.m. and already I knew it was going to be a long day. Every time you go into a hospital, it's pretty much the same thing. You know, give your name, fill out your paperwork, wait your turn, hear your name. So let's just assume we've done all that and get to the sexy part. Undressing from the waist up. Sexy, eh? This isn't what my real hospital gown looked like, but wouldn't it be nice if it was? JC, right? Yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to see me. I had a really difficult time navigating the whole mammogram thing. Well, that's why you have me. I'm the navigator, that's my job. But, you may not get a mammogram. Uh, you'll send me for all the time. Most likely, yes. It's a very simple test. Have you ever been pregnant? No. I don't mean, no, like that's the most horrible thing that could ever happen to a person. I just mean, no, I haven't been pregnant, I'm just like beginning to accept the fact that I'm at an age where that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, where it wouldn't be like, you know, an after school special. Well, you seem pregnant women in movies or on TV have ultrasounds, right? They just take the jelly, and they put it on your breast, and they run the wand around, and they take images. It's actually more effective than mammography in young women. Yeah, because breast tissue is white on mammograms, as it is cancer. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So, first things first, I will need to take a medical history. Okay. Can you detail your family history of cancer? Uh, sure. Uh, my mom has had uh, breast cancer three times. It's always been caught at a stage one or zero. The first time she was 38 and um, she had a lumpectomy followed by radiation. She had a recurrence uh, two or three years later and that resulted in a mastectomy followed by a tram flap reconstruction. And then she was cancer free for 22 years until last month when she uh, had a diagnosis of cancer in her other breast uh, and this time she opted for the implant for the reconstruction. Anyone else in the family have cancer? Yes. <laughs> um, her mother had uh, breast cancer and ovarian cancer. She died when she was 63. And her mother, my great grandmother, um, died of cancer as well, breast, uh, when she was 40. And technically, it was a postmenopausal cancer because she uh, had a hysterectomy. Is that it? Alas, no, because I have the worst fucking genes on the planet. Uh, <laughs> My grandfather had prostate cancer, as did his brother. And I know that prostate cancer is, you know, common in old men, but I also know that it's genetically linked cancer, so, you know, I figure. Um, and their sister had lung cancer, uh, eh, but that was probably caused by smoking. And your dad's side? Uh, just his mother who had colon cancer in her 70s. Okay. Have you been tested for BRCA gene? No, but my mother's been tested and uh, she was negative. Um, although, I mean, my family history is balls, so I'm guessing that there's some genetic component. Balls? Yeah, like, um, bullshit. Sure. So, do you smoke? No. Drink? Uh, occasionally. How occasionally? Like, half a vodka cranberry every other week. <laughs> okay. Are you on birth control? Nope. Ever been on birth control? Uh, no, because my family history. The increased risk of breast cancer. Uh, no, because my dad has ha had had several bouts of um, deep vein thrombosis, you know, like blood clots in his legs. Yeah. Okay. And how is he now? Uh, dead. He had a heart attack, not ironically from the blood clots, but because he had an abnormality that no one knew about—a narrow descending artery. I'm sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Well, I'll need to do an examination, so I know what we're talking about here. We can step into an exam room, or we can just do it right here in the office. Here is fine if that's easier. That's okay. If you'll just remove your hand. It's the left, right? Right. Right? Left. Not right? Right. Which breast? Who's on first? It's the left, correct? Yep. <laughs> Most of the time, that density that you're talking about, that turns out to be nothing. Okay, that is definitely something. Okay. 
Have your nipples always been different like that? Um, yep. Some find them charming all the same. Uh, is that a problem? No. It's the opposite. If you told me this was a new development, I would be like, well, to use a favorite term of yours. I'm glad I get such an accurate first impression. Uh, to me, it feels round. It's mobile. It feels pretty hard, but I think it's a cyst. Cysts can be pretty hard in young women. But, to be sure, you're going to need an ultrasound. So, take your chart across the street to building 616, go to the ninth floor, ask for Regina at the desk, she'll set you up with a radio tech, and ultimately you'll see Dr. Radio. Okay. okay. It's likely a cyst. It'll show up clear or white on an ultrasound, unlike a solid mass, which would show up black. They'll probably be able to drain it today by inserting a large needle into your breast. Shit. Yes, shit. But better than the alternative. Totally. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck. It's such a weird thing to hear as an actor. We we always say break a leg, never good luck. Good luck is bad luck. <laughs>